All right, <clears throat> so you have your trunk line here. And let's say your toilet's over here. Let's say that hole for the vent is right there. You're gonna cut your pipe back there and put your rubber coupling. Put a piece of pipe about as far as that toilet goes. Tighten that coupling up. And then you have a three inch Y, right? And then you have a street 45 and there's little lines on the side of the fitting. So you can glue that street 45 into the Y so it points straight and this makes this Y into a combination, right? So you have a three by two Y with a street 45 right there. And now you have a, a fitting that's gonna point straight at it. So cut a short, cut a piece of pipe, cut, cut a piece of inch and a half pipe and stick it in this hole. And then cut a piece of two inch pipe That'll be about the right length of that. And then dry fit it into your three by two combination that you just made. And then hold it on, hold it on this pipe and point it at that pipe that's sticking in that hole. And then make a pencil mark where you got to cut the pipe. And then you glue your, you take this pipe out and then glue your combination in and put your street or put your torpedo level on the end of your combination and put your grade on it and glue it in place <clears throat> and then then glue your now that you have this combination in then you can glue this pipe into it <clears throat> sorry and then put a couple straps on it or put a strap on it so it's secure. Now, you're gonna pick up that uh, Street 45 and the Street 90. So the same, you're gonna take one of those 45, those two inch 45s. And again, it has those lines on it so you can line it up and then glue one of those Street 45s into it and now you've made a, th a two inch long sweep. And then you take that two inch long sweep and line it up with that pipe that's sticking in your hole there. Make your pencil mark on the pipe, cut it with your saw, glue your 90 on so it's pointing straight up. Put your, put your level on top of that 90 and make sure it's level. And there's a little bubble on the top of the level so you can see down make sure you have lots of light too you want to make sure that you put a lot of put a light down there so you can see your level and everything so you don't struggle and then once you've got that put in place then you take your inch and a half pipe glue it into the top of the t oh i'm sorry first cut a piece of two inch pipe about two inches glue it into the bottom of the two by inch and a half by two T, right? Then glue it onto the vent and then glue it into the elbow so that your pipe is pointing back over, over it'll go right over top of this in between the joists over to where the washing machine is, right? Stick a piece, so you know, you, again, you'll just take a, you can take a dry fit piece and stick it in there so you can use it to point your T in the right direction. Then once that T is glued in, then hook up your rubber coupling and now the vent's hooked up. So then next thing, glue that pipe into the, or stick it into the T. This one will be kind of long, so it'll be easier to dry fit it in there and then put some hanging strap to strap the pipe in place. And then once you've got it hung, so it's got the right grade on it, quarter inch or quarter bubble is perfect. 
then glue it into your tee and then come over here you're going to stick a pipe down through this hole where the washing machine goes and use that pipe to drive fit your drive fit into your trap and then you cut that pipe where you need to take all this stuff out and then you take that two inch elbow and glue it onto the end of the pipe put the level on the bottom of it so you can go side to side and make sure you have that elbow straight and level then take your take your trap and dry fit that pipe back into the trap and then glue the trap onto that elbow the reason why you're dry fitting this piece in there is just so that you can twist the, the trap so that you can make sure that pipe's nice and straight coming out of the floor and then once you have that trap glued then take this pipe out glue it into your washer box and set it aside and let sure make sure it's set set up really good before you handle it again so just kind of put it out of the way maybe over here or something and then while then you glue leave that over there and then do the same thing over here you're going to take the take your three inch y and you can just cut a, a three inch piece of a, a piece of three inch glue it in there yeah and then you have the line still glue a 45 so now you've made yourself a three inch combination and you do the same thing you cut a piece of pipe about that's a little bit longer than you need all right dry fit it into this fitting right here hold it where you need to make your pencil mark cut the pipe take this pipe out and that glue your com your new combination glue this fitting in there put your level on the end of the pipe put your quarter bubble take this piece of pipe stick it into your three inch combination put a strap on it glue it take your 90 your toilet 90 put it where you need to make your pencil mark cut this pipe then glue your glue your 90 and now your toilet's done and then just put some tape over it so you don't get any wood in it when you cut cut the hole and when you're all done with everything that's when you're going to want to take your measurements where everything is and write them on write them somewhere and then here i think we end up with the i'm not sure exactly how this ends up going because i i don't really have a good idea of how this goes but maybe you can put that two inch y right here and that might point right at one of these sinks like put might point right at the sink right here so you so you'll take a piece of pipe you can use a piece of two inch pipe and just dry fit it into the y and see if you can't point it right at this sink All right and then glue your glue your y in and then don't put this piece in yet so now you just have a y there and then you come out of here put your piece of pipe and then put your trap where the shower goes right maybe you'll have to put a 45 here and put it over here and put the trap or whatever but whoever that works then now once you've got this piece in you've got this trap in now you're done with all the two inch pipe so you can take some of that two inch pipe and put it right here and then before like you got to put an inch and a half wide to go to the other sink so right here you can put one of the two inch couplings and a two by inch and a half bushing and reduce it here so you're using this a little bit of two inch here so you'll have a little more inch and a half so the only i think you're going to have enough pipe for everything 
if anything, you might run out of two inch pipe, but I don't think you're going to run out of inch and a half. So then you would do the same thing. So you've got your piece of pipe and then you put your inch and a half over to where the sink is, dry fit a piece of pipe into your inch and a half Y, hold it on this pipe, cut your pipe where you need to, glue that inch and a half Y, take your inch and a half pipe and glue it in there and put a strap on it. And then cut this where you need the 90, cut it, put a inch and a half 90, which you can do with two inch and a half 45s. I forget if we got inch and a half sweeps or not. But one of the things about this is that this pipe, this 90 might be too far below the floor. So when you come up with your 90, put a, uh, a piece of inch and a half pipe and an inch and a half coupling so that the pipe comes up all the way to the bottom of the plywood, maybe an inch or so from the plywood, so that when you put the plywood in and then you drill a two inch hole in the plywood, then the fitting will be close enough to the plywood you can get your brush in there and glue your piece of pipe in after you got the floor in. And then, then dry fit another piece in right here or glue it strap it, cut it, put a 90, and then put a little piece of pipe in there out of the top of the 90 with a coupling on it. So it's just below the plywood here. So when you drill these two holes, the pipe will be close enough to the floor. Oh, you'll probably want to do that with this too. Out of the top of this trap, just have it come up just below the like a cup, you know, just below the floor and put a two inch coupling here. So that when you drill this hole, when you drill, drill this hole, it'll be a pretty big hole anyway. So this one's not really that important. I think this hole, when you make a hole big enough for your shower drain, you'll have enough room to get your arm in there maybe. But if you, if you do want to make it easier, you can extend this one up to just below the floor too. You won't have that same problem with the toilet because you're going to have a great big hole in the floor that you'll be able to reach in up to your elbow if you need. So gluing this pipe is going to be fine. And when you put that tape over the, over the fitting, make sure that you don't really seal it really tight. Like just kind of take your tape and glue it to the rim, uh, stick it to the rim of the fitting, but take the edge of the tape and just fold it over so that you can reach down and just grab the tape and peel it off and make sure you don't tape inside the fitting make sure that it's all on the outside so that if you have a little remnants of tape it's not going to get in the way of glue and stuff so keep it up man and anything comes up definitely ask i got all the answers buddy